Yep. Lights blinking. Looks like we're connected. Now I just made a takeoff. Yes, here we go. So the moment of truth now. After the lockdown came, we still wanted to be able to give the opportunity for students for this hands-on education. So Paul and I put our heads together to see how we could make this possible. And Paul had thought about this in the past. It was a dream of his. It wasn't possible until now because of the cameras that we use in the lab and the fact that the software heavily relies on this. Take off. Here we go. <laughs> I felt a little bit sad because um, instead of going to the lab and working with the measurements and the equipment and the machines, we just had to watch a video of the professors playing with the equipment we should have been playing with. I had the feeling that it was going to be a letdown because how do you teach a practical course with drones online? Hello everyone, good morning, hello. And the motors wouldn't turn off. They just kept spinning and spinning and spinning and it already happened twice. The reason for it to turn off is when the angle is measured. Yeah, so the, the approach that we take to teaching this course is not to give the students the answers, but to lead them to discover the answer themselves. We just now managed to finish our small project. And yeah, we went for the spiral. Working on it together definitely helps. Also, of course, your teammate who is working basically on the same as you are. Yeah, and I like it also how you change the yaw angle to always face inwards. Exactly. So it's yeah. like a ballerina. Yeah, I guess <laughs> that's clear. Yeah, so all the fun I had during the course was definitely one of the major factors that brought me to studying robotics. <laughs> nice. As soon as you can connect fun and studying or learning, you understand stuff quicker. 